and that took about an hour and six minutes so my estimate of one hour was <laughs> pretty close to spot on and we're ready to bake let's go and all of these boards look like an absolute winner beauty and ta-da we have our 10 fully working uh first panel of microcurrents haven't put them in the uh box yet but uh yeah they worked and they assembled a treat and now i've got to uh test them and uh testing manually is a bit uh tricky because i've got to uh cross-reference instruments i've got to uh check the calibration of them i've got to uh tweak it all and make sure it's all right and i can do this based on my uh, lab voltage standard not everything you see here various precision resistors i've got i can calibrate these things and i can cross-check instruments and i can do all sorts of stuff like that which i won't go into uh detail but basically um i can set up a pass fail uh, limit here I'm, I'm putting through a constant uh, current on a pretty on the uh, microamp uh, range at the moment and I can uh, test and get a pass fail I've programmed uh, limits into my meter here and if I tweak the uh, current on my current source you'll notice that it uh, comes up red and actually fails so I've, I've programmed in my uh, nominal spec of 0.05% uh, into this system and I've calibrated it to you know better of an better than an order of magnitude uh, than the spec of the microcurrent and that's not uh, particularly easy to do because this thing is already very precise at 0.05 percent that's the uh, spec I guarantee for it anyway so um, it's not trivial to do this isn't the best method for production testing I'll have a uh, slightly different system for production testing but for testing the uh, hand built units and ensuring just everything's fine and manually calibrating uh, everything and make sure you know I didn't have any uh, thermal issues hasn't damaged any of the uh, components uh, made them drift or uh, anything like that on the board and it's all sweet this one tests out fine now I've just got to test the rest and uh, once I set up a particular range I have to rejig it for each uh, particular range and it can get really tricky down on the uh, nanoamp uh, range of course because noise becomes a big issue there so anyway there you go it's working a treat well the first 10 are tested and they're all within spec had no problems with uh, reflowing these or uh, testing them in fact um, I tightened up the spec to uh, half of the 0.05% or 0.025 and most almost all of them on all ranges still made it within that tighter spec so beautiful so there you go that is the first 10 i've got another couple of panels to go i think i was uh, 30 um units or something like that pre-orders or was it 40 i'm not sure but anyway um yeah i have to uh, sign the cases and pack and ship still haven't got the serial number uh labels on these yet which are uh, serial number stickers uh which i've ordered they're still in the post and a whole bunch of stuff is still in the post but at least i can hand assemble and test these and it actually didn't take all that long at all it's not too bad so pretty happy with it catch you next time